Hey guys, it's Olivia. Welcome back to my channel. So you may notice that the quality of my camera is quite a bit different. That is because I have gotten a Canon G7X. It took me forever to get this camera and I was going to do unboxing but I was way too excited to unbox it. I'll probably be playing around but as you can see, the quality is insane. Before we start, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, my main Instagram, and my music Instagram. And for any business business inquiries, I have an email. All that information is in the down bar as usual. So today's video is going to be a brand new trailer time. I am so excited to do this. I haven't done a new trailer a new trailer time in a really long time. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I have a very strong love for for some horror movies. Some time ago, I came upon the trailer for this new, I think it was a Netflix film called A Quiet Place. It didn't look too scary, so I gave it a shot, and I I loved it. It's not often you find a horror film that is genuinely good, and it's not cheesy, and it's well-written, it's got a good director, and this was all of those things. I was just scrolling through YouTube, and I found out that there is a sequel coming out this year. So, here's my official reaction to the brand new trailer for A Quiet Place Part 2. Oh my god. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks absolutely amazing. It looks really, really exciting. It doesn't even look that scary. It looks more like a um, thriller, thriller, thriller rather than a horror film, but it's still really, really exciting. Starting off with the cast, we have Emily Blunt, who's had a lot of work lately. She will be playing the main character, Evelyn Abbott, who is the mother from the first film. And fair warning, if you have not seen the first film, then this may be a spoiler for you. We have Noah Jupe, or Jupe, who's playing Marcus Abbott, the son. We have Millicent Simmons, who was in the first film. She's playing Regan Abbott, and she's the deaf daughter. We have Lauren Ashley Cristiano, who's playing Emmett's wife, new character. We have Wayne Duvall playing Roger. The synopsis is very simple. It goes as follows. Following the events at home, the Abbott family now face the terrors of the outside world. 
Forced to venture into the unknown, they realize that the creatures that hunt by sound are not the only threats that lurk beyond the sand path. So that sounds really, really great. And if you've seen the film, you know that there are these creatures that hunt by sound. That's like what caught my attention in the first film, that they had to constantly be, be using sign language to communicate and they could barely make any sound. And it was just really, really, a really unique thing. I've never seen, like I've seen sign language, but I've never seen that concept for a horror movie. First one's definitely more horror. It's actually directed by Emily Blunt's husband, John Krasinski, who played the father in the first film and uh, directed the first film and is also directing the second film. And I think that's really romantic because they're together, together in real life. They played husband and wife in the first film and he's directing both of the films. I didn't even know that there was gonna be a sequel. It was a mix between okay, that's a good ending, or could there, could there be more? Do I want to know if they leave the house and then they find out more? It was a mixed feeling. I feel like it was kind of cool the way the first one ended, then it leaves you wondering, oh, do, do they kill the, all the creatures? But we'll see how the sequel goes. It'll be really interesting to see where the story goes. Our director is John Krasinski, her, his, uh, her husband, Emily Blunt, Blunt's husband. Scott Beck is our writer. This film will be releasing March 20th, 2020, so March 20th of this year. And finally, there is no current rating, but I would say it's probably going to be 14A. From what I saw in the trailer, maybe 18A, but it doesn't look like there is any visible gore. There wasn't in the first film, and I'm pretty sure the first film was uh, rated 14A. Yeah, the first one was 14A, so the second one's probably gonna be 14A. It's not a graphic movie, it's just a very suspenseful, jump scare thriller, so it's this is probably gonna have the same rating. So that was all the information I have for you guys. I hope that you will go and see A Quiet Place Part 2. If you're brave enough, and let me know what you thought. On a very short Disney note, I still haven't seen Frozen, but there's lots of movies I haven't seen. But I'm really hoping that I can see this film, and we'll see if it's good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow my social media information in the down bar. I hope you guys have an absolutely magical day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you all. Bye, guys. <laughs>